here it is the LC meter is ready and uh, we have soldered all the components over there we have soldered the switches because we will fix in a and uh, we'll fix it in an enclosure and uh, uh, that's why uh, to keep it on the top I have made a separate small PCB and uh, I have connected all these components and this connector to provide the power supply and uh, I'll use this small PCB and these all switches with this board and uh, here it is a display and uh, only remaining thing is the uh, microcontroller and a uh, um, op amp uh, to fix and uh, let's check how it is working Meter is complete. Let's see. Uh, this altimeter is complete, and I have fixed these all switches and terminals. Uh, and I'm going to fit it in an enclosure like this. And after fixing this enclosure, we will we'll test it whether it is working good or not here the device is ready and uh, with this device you can measure the frequency you can measure the capacitance and inductance and uh, for that you can select either capacitance and it has to measure and uh, we are having the terminals from these two terminals you can connect or inductance and capacitance we have install some uh, strip also so we can directly check in the pins and uh, to, cali uh, to calculation to calculate uh, the inductance and capacitance we have to calibrate it first so first of all we will uh, measure the inductance for that we will do the calibration uh, to calibrate this uh, device we have to short the terminals by using this loop we are uh, doing short for the inductance calibration we have to short the terminals <coughs> and uh, to calibrate we have to press these two buttons uh, calibration as well as, as well as frequency and it is saying that uh, short the terminal press the calibration button we have pressed the calibration button and then calibration is complete okay now the device is calibrated and uh, we can remove the uh, jumper and now first of all uh, we will measure the inductance so you can see we are having uh, two different inductance one is uh, 100 micro henry and another is 1 milli henry first of all we will measure the 100, 100 uh, micro henry uh, inductor and let's see how the result it is giving so we will just insert here it is showing 107 micro henry and uh, we have inserted uh, 100 micro henry uh, inductance so it is about correct and uh, this value is different because of the tolerance so we can accept it is an acceptable range now uh, we will uh, measure an another inductance uh, which is having a uh, 1 milli henry uh, value and uh, in place of this uh, inductance we will replace another one uh, whether it is giving correct value or not Let's check. it 
it is uh, giving 1.24 milli henry and again it is uh, its value is 1 milli henry uh, 1 milli henry you can see uh, but uh, it's giving a bit different value because of tolerance and uh, there may be some a bit minor error in the meter also so but however it is in acceptable range now uh, we are going to measure an uh, value of unknown indi inductor uh, let's see what's the value of this unknown inductor we'll insert it and uh, it is giving about 11 micro henry so this unknown inductor is about 11 or 12 micro henry now we will measure the value of capacitance to measure the value of capacitance we have to calibrate this meter once again and for the calibration first of all we will go in the uh, capacitance measurement setting and uh, then we will calibrate to calibrate we have to press these two button calibration plus frequency and then we have to press the calibration button after that the calibration is complete we now we are going to measure the inductance the calibration is done and it is showing about 0 uh, pf it is correct and uh, now you can see we have taken a, a 100 nanofarad capacitor 104 and we will check whether it is giving correct value you can set it it is giving about uh, 73 74 75 nanofarad uh, about correct it's increasing the value is increasing it is trying to make the calculation more precise and uh, it is showing the 78 nanofarad but actually it is 100 nanofarad so because of tolerance and uh, some error of the meter may be taken as correct and uh, now we are having another another capacitor uh, 102 it is uh, 1 nanofarad capacitor uh, we'll see what it is giving the value we are going to calculate it is uh, about 740 picofarad 744 um, in nano you can say it is 0.7 nanofarad or because of the tolerance etc it is the value nearby and uh, once again we are having uh, one uh, microfarad capacitor and it is uh, electrolytic type so it is having uh, polarity also so uh, we will put the negative polarity at the negative point uh, we can see the value is going the calibration is required once again so we will do the calibration once again and uh, after calibration you can see the value is about zero uh, zero and uh, we'll check the value of this one microfarad capacitor through this meter it is uh, it is it is about about one microfarad it is 0.9394 nanofarad is about 1 microfarad and it is more nearer to the value written on this capacitor so it is all about this meter and uh, it is calculating the about value nearby correct value and uh, it is useful to measure the inductance and capacitance you may try. Thank you for watching.